Good afternoon, oil traders. It is 3.11 p.m. Eastern Time on October 19th, and it was an interesting one. Um, so as you guys know, I, my plan was to exit uh, my shorts from the past couple of days on uh, at the open, uh, where we looked like we were opening pretty low, which apparently we did, and uh, as well as enter my first long position in a while um, to tap into any upward um, bounce that we get and uh, that's exactly what I did so I had uh, my two most recent shorts one from 52.23 and one from 51.65 um, the uh, latter of which the former of which I should say was purchased yesterday um, and I sold those uh, I think about 30 minutes into the open uh, if we take a look here uh, you can see so the uh, short that was purchased on the 17th, the short that was purchased yesterday on the 18th, were sold today on the 19th. Uh, so an average of one day, eight hour hold. Um, the combined weighting of 20% for a return of 2.87%. Uh, average return and a profit of 577 um, and uh, 77 cents. Lucky number seven. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with that, as well as getting into a long position. If we take a look at my portfolio now, we can see that there is indeed a long HOU, which is the Horizon uh, Bull ETF for crude oil. And I got in there at the same price, which was uh, 51.24, um, which is pretty much the low of the day here on the East Coast. Um, we about half an hour ago, 40 minutes ago, we touched um, almost as low, 51.26, and then bounced back up, um, where we are right now at uh, 51.36. We've been holding at this level pretty much all day, with the exception of this kind of um, upward swing towards 52, uh, topping out at 51.70. I was actually looking to re-enter a small short position at 51.75, which of course we never got to. <laughs> Um, and uh, ultimately decided to get in at 51.66, but my order never got executed, so I missed that execution, um, unfortunately. But who knows, maybe tomorrow we're at 52 again, and I'll get in a little bit better. If not, then I'm happy to uh, keep a little bit more cash in the reserves, uh, seeing as how my exposure on the short side is pretty significant um, still. So either way, I'm, I'm happy with whichever one happens and I'll play accordingly. Um, but yeah, for now, it's just wait and see what tomorrow holds. How did you guys do? Let me know in the comments down below on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, results, performance, etc., etc. Uh, in the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of trading tomorrow at or before 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck. Cheers.